Hi, my name is Gabor Sabu. I'm going to talk about Padre, the Perl IDE, and how it can provide context-sensitive help to various languages. On this address you can find an installable version for Windows and instructions on how to install it on Linux and on Macintosh. Let's switch now to the editor and see how we can use it. As you can see, in the editor there are already three files open. The first one we are going to look at is a Perl 5 script. It's a simple script. Uh, the only thing it does, it prints something to the screen. Let's see how it runs. There is the run menu, and in the run menu we have a run script submenu, which is connected to the F5 hotkey. Click on, on this menu, we'll execute the script, and the output will be shown at the bottom of the screen. That's fine, but as a beginner I would like to read about uh, the various uh, functions that we can see there, and the um, various keywords of Perl 5. So if I can if I put my the cursor on pr on the print function I can go there to the help menu, select the context help which is connected to the F2 key, click on it and it will bring up another window with explanation on how the Perl func the, the print function works. That's probably an easy one. So let's look at what this use keyword means. Again, I can go click on F2 and see the explanation about the use keyword of Perl. There are other words here, for example, the strict and the warnings. And if we'd like to understand what those mean, we can go and ask the help for that. In addition, in Perl 5 there are a number of variables that might look strange for people who are not familiar with them. For example, there is this variable you might encounter in scripts you need to maintain. So if you'd like to understand what this is, you just go and ask for help. And it will explain that $$$ is the process ID. Another variable that often often seen in Perl scripts is the dollar underscore. And obviously you can get explanation on that as well. Padre was originally de designed to be able to help you write Perl 5 script and to help with that, but we extended it and there are a couple of other languages that we that Padre already supports. The next one I'm going to show is a peer file. Peer is the language of the Parrot virtual machine. This is again a small and simple script that we can run via the run script menu item. It will run uh, the Parrot virtual machine and execute this script printing the output at the bottom of the screen. Here again we would like to get some help. So we can put the cursor on one of the keywords and go to the context help and get the explanation right from the documentation of the Parrot virtual machine. The last example I would like to show is a Perl 6 script. Here again the first thing I would like to show is how Padre can execute it using the Rakudo engine. The output is coming at the bottom of the screen and putting the cursor on the keyword saying contact, getting so contact sensitive help fetches the documentation right from the definition of the language uh, the exact file name can be seen at the, uh, the top of the screen that's all what I wanted to show today let's switch back to this slide so I can point you again to the URL where you can download Padre or if you'd like to talk to the developers of Padre you can chat with us on the Padre IRC channel on irc.perl.org. Thank you.